Let's get started right away and get Unity working on Linux Mint. From this page I will link you in the description, we need to simply copy these commands into terminal, you can do them one by one to verify each step was successful. Check the note if you have any issues during these steps. Okay that's completed, we can close this we look in our applications. Now we should have Unity Hub, let's open it up. We are presented with this login screen. If you have a login do so, if not pause the video, create your account and come back. We have logged in and verified in the hub. Let's skip this for now. Let's activate a free license. Get free personal edition. Now we click and install the editor. We can use the latest LTS. After installation has been completed, let's create a new project. Name the project, I will use test. Fill in the information required. We can uncheck version control for now. Wait for the project load. We are inside the editor successfully. This is the end of the first part. Next we will configure Unity to use Visual Studio Code Editor. This allows features like code completion, error highlighting, debugger and many other features. If we create a script and try to open it up, we can see it is inside a text editor, this will not be very useful for us. On the page linked in the description we can see the steps outlined. We have already installed Unity Editor so let's move to step 2 and install VS Code. On the download page for mint slash Ubuntu we can use ubuntu.deb package. After downloading, we simply run the package installer. The final step is to ensure the package Visual Studio Editor is updated to at least 2.0.20. Because our installation is the latest LTS 2022-314, the package is already updated to the latest which is 2.0.22 as of this recording. We can move to the next step, under Edit and Preferences we go to External Tools. In the drop-down, we look for VS Code, which does not show up in this case. We simply need to restart Unity, so it knows it's installed. Before opening Unity again, let's quickly open VS Code and get these messages out of the way. We open Unity back and navigate once more to External Tools in Preferences. VS Code is now showing in our drop-down. We can move on to the next step, let's try to open the script from Unity. This should open VS Code. We are prompted to install c -sharp Dev Kit. we can close that out.
prompted once more, but this time unity extension which is what we want. If you somehow do not get this prompt, you can simply go to the extensions page and search for unity. Install the extensions, this will also install the C-Sharp dev kit and C-Sharp extension. Now we get prompted about SDK missing. We can fix this right away, manually. In the page I've linked in the description let's look at how we can install the SDK. I've used the instructions for this Ubuntu version. We simply paste this one command in our terminal. After that's completed, let's go back to Unity and open our script. We can see VS Code has loaded successfully. Let's test it out right away. You can see as we type the code suggests our classes and methods. One last thing we can see is missing are snippets for the Unity Mono Behavior Methods. This will need to come from a third-party extension. Let's search extensions for Unity snippets. We simply install. We don't need typing void here, just update and it knows which snippet we want. Everything is working perfectly. Awesome. Hopefully this was a great help to you getting started right away. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do so in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Cheers!